Hey friends, welcome back to my Rebuilding the World series uh, here in The Sims 4. Uh, so I am in Willow Creek, I'm at the Daisy Hovel uh, lot, and yeah, we're uh, renovating this lot today. And my idea is to turn this into a duplex. I thought that would be kind of an interesting way to go with it. And I was kind of debating originally how I wanted to uh, do the kind of addition to create the duplex. Um, if I wanted it to match the original version or do something else. And I decided to do a much more modern uh, addition, uh, really just to give it some more interest really for the slot. Uh, I did see quite a few, when I was looking for inspiration, I saw quite a few um, duplexes in like New Orleans that uh, would be very similar to the original version of the house that has like, you know, two entrances and it's, you know, a very similar shape and whatnot. Um, so that was one idea, but yeah, I decided to go in this more modern direction and I don't know, I really like how it turned out. Um, I really like the, uh, the contrast between the uh, two different sides. And for this one, I don't have any Sims in mind uh, per se. I imagine... Uh, you know, this is owned by someone who doesn't, you know, live in the area. Um, it's unoccupied at the moment. Maybe they've just finished the renovations uh, on the two sides. Um, so, yeah, there aren't, there won't be any Sims living in it necessarily. Uh, and one other thought that I had while, while doing it is that my thought was the original side of the build uh, had an addition put on before the duplex was added um, in order to give it an extra bedroom uh, so I kind of went with that and I did keep the kitchen where it was I thought it'd be nice to you know have at least some of the original layout still in there um, but I do move the bathroom um, and then I add another one uh, so yeah plenty of space for um, you know multiple sims uh, if you have them living in here and I'll end up doing one bedroom for a kid and then the other is just the uh, primary bedroom and I haven't uploaded it to the gallery as of me recording this right now, uh, but it'll be up by the time the video is out. Um, so I haven't checked to see if I can actually turn this into a rental property. I've been having a lot of issues. I know there's a lot of bugs with the for rent pack, uh, you know, <laughs> shocker. Uh, so I will do my best to turn it into a residential rental if I can, um, otherwise, you might have to do that yourself if you can, or just, you know, pretend <laughs> that it's a functional duplex like we've had to do for the last, uh, you know, 10 years, I guess. So, uh, yeah, hopefully they come out with some bug fixes soon. I They came out with a patch, um, I think, this week as of when I was recording this um, that just didn't address anything. Um, so, yeah, hopefully they, uh, they take care of that because that... It's wild how many how many bugs are still being shipped with each of the packs. And I also tried to limit the number of packs that I used for this. Um, I mean, it's certainly more than, you know, one or two or three. Um, but, you know, it's not <laughs> every single pack that I own. Um, so hopefully it's, you know, a little bit easier to download. Um, plus, it just kind of helps me when I'm building to not be <laughs> overwhelmed with however many options there are. Um, and then I can really kind of focus on what kind of style I'm going for. Um, so this this side is kind of interesting. You know, it has a lot of the original details, um, kind of an older, a little bit maybe more traditional style uh, with the wallpaper and everything. Um, but I wanted to have maybe some more modern furnishings. Um, you know, if this is like a rental property that someone else owns, but they don't live in it, you know, maybe they've tried to uh, furnish it so anyone can move in and, and be happy here. So, uh, yeah, use a lot of dream home decorator furniture. Um, you know, it gives kind of that, uh, Ikea vibe. Um, also use snowy escape. Uh, I really like the build buy from that pack. Uh, so yeah, used quite a bit of stuff from there, uh, in this side. And then also in the, uh, other side of the duplex, I'll, I'll use quite a bit in there too. And I also use quite a bit of the items from the Strangerville pack, uh, mostly the doors and windows, archways, a lot of the kind of build mode um, items. Um, I feel like that uh, like Queen Anne style that came with that pack really fits in well with the kind of shotgun style and different 
New Orleans sort of uh, uh, styles in in Willow Creek. So uh, yeah, I thought that I thought that worked out nicely. I really like the um, like single tile doors that came with that pack. These like curved ones. I think those are really nice. I also really like the front doors that came with the pack. Uh, with like the stained glass windows uh, yeah I use those a lot um, just in general but obviously I used one in this pack um, or in this build uh, but I don't use it on the other side since that side's you know more modern and then here for this kids room I went with a fairly uh, uh, maybe more neutral kind of yellow and green theme uh, which I think turned out nice and yeah, for my uh, for my next builds in this series, I'm, I'm kind of debating if I want to introduce a new character right now or if I should uh, re do a remodel for uh, one of the existing townies. Um, I'm thinking maybe the pancakes. I have, uh, you know, kind of an interesting storyline with them. Uh, so yeah, you'll have to let me know what you want to see first. I think I've got pretty much all of Willow Creek kind of mapped out as far as the different stories I want to tell and um, the builds that I want to do um, since this is supposed to be set kind of 10 years after the you know the game started since you know The Sims 4 has been out for 10 years now I thought that would be kind of an interesting way to do it so you know the kids you know have grown up they've moved on the adults are older trying to figure out what they want to do new people are moving to Willow Creek uh, so yeah I think it's uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. You'll have to let me know if you have any ideas or things you want to see for sure. And here in this primary bedroom, I ended up using this uh, wallpaper that has this sort of peachy tone to it. I don't know if I've ever actually used that wallpaper before. Um, so I thought it would fit in, you know, pretty well here. And uh, yeah, just gave him a couple of tall wardrobes and, and a rug from Dream Home Decorator. And for the bathroom, I was really struggling because I wanted to, you know, have a tub and a shower. And I also wanted to have laundry in there because, uh, you know, it would be nice to have in-unit laundry uh, for, for a build like this. Uh, so I ended up making the bathroom larger uh, in order to fit everything. Uh, so, yeah, that turned out much better. Um, decided to put in some uh, countertops. I think that would be nice if you were, uh, if you had laundry in here. And then, yeah, just put in a full shower tub combo. And I think that uh, worked out better. And normally I try to put the laundry hamper next to the washer and dryer just so your Sims don't have to, you know, walk all over the place to collect laundry to put in the washer. Uh, but there wasn't really enough room in the bathroom. Uh, so I'll end up putting it uh, just in the primary bedroom uh, since it's still fairly close. So, you know, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Um, and, you know, where no matter where people change on the lot, it'll go into there. So it'll still be pretty close. Um, and I think that, you know, I think that worked out fine. And I was just thinking how much I desperately want new curtains in this game. And I, you know, I would probably be willing to pay for a kit of just curtains, um, but really only if they're going to put some in the base game as well, because the base game curtain options are really lacking. Um, yeah, I would love to see maybe just like a couple options, like maybe like one uh, sort of style, that's just like actually like just regular curtains with a ton of swatches in you know all the different window sizes and then some like normal looking blinds or like a shade i don't know i think that would be so helpful for people who only have the base game um, just to give us some like normal curtains and shades and it'd be great if i didn't need to size things up or down in order to fit different window sizes so if they could, you know, give us some different sizes, that would be very helpful. Uh, but yeah, now I'm over on the uh, other side of the duplex. This side is a bit more modern. Uh, I just went with these like simple kind of mid-tone floors, uh, just white walls, a lot of much lighter colors uh, over here uh, with these, you know, kind of light wood toned cabinets and a little bit nicer appliances. Uh, end up doing the kind of built in uh, you know, stovetop and then the built-in oven. And I think that, uh, you know, is it, it works out well for, for this sort of um, uh, look, I guess, that I was going for. And the layout over here turns out pretty similar to the other side. Um, I didn't make this side of the duplex as wide. Um, you know, I thought, you know, since it's just an add-on, maybe they didn't want to make it quite as large. 
Uh, so yeah, I think six tiles wide was still a pretty good size for this. Uh, the living room, maybe, mm, actually the living room's probably fine for size, but yeah, definitely it would be nice to have a little bit more space for the dining area. Uh, but even the the other side didn't have that much space for dining. Um, the tables are literally like right next to each other, uh, like on the other side of the wall. So uh, yeah, but I mean, still still enough space for three Sims. And I thought it would be interesting to do this sort of uh, almost built-in like wardrobe, little closet thing for when you walk in the door. Uh, I've never really done that, I don't think, in a build. So yeah, I thought that would be kind of an interesting way to use those pieces from uh, Dream Home Decorator. And then of course just added some more clutter around there with the shoes. And then I put a uh, that shelf on the wall, which I, uh, I can't remember if that one is from Snowy Escape or if that was just a base game one. Uh, but yeah, just added some clutter on there just to, uh, you know, add a little bit more decoration to the wall besides uh, going with a painting and switch it up a little bit. And yeah, pretty much used uh, furniture from Dream Home Decorator here in the living room. Uh, I think that rug is from Laundry Day, um, which I kind of forget that that rug is a kind of exists. So yeah, I thought that uh, worked here, gave a little bit of a little pop of color and Use that base game industrial bookcase, um, kind of mesh a couple different uh, styles in here. And I was gonna use these curtains from Dream Home, but the patterns and colors weren't really meshing very well for me. Uh, so I ended up using these uh, shades from base game, I believe, uh, which I think fit in pretty well, especially with this sort of, uh, you know, modern aesthetic that I was going for. And yeah, for the bathroom, you know, pretty simple. I was able to fit uh, laundry in here, which is always nice. So um, there'll be a stackable washer and dryer in this uh, unit as well. And yeah, I think the same kind of deal with the uh, laundry hamper. There wasn't really space in the bathroom to put it. Uh, at least I didn't want to risk your Sims not being able to use things by if the hamper was in the way. Uh, so yeah, I put that, I'm pretty sure it just goes in the bedroom, like the other side. Uh, and yeah, I think that, uh, worked out fairly well. So then my next video coming out will be the next one in my Rebuilding the Sims 2 series. Uh, so I'll be, uh, creating the house for the Omaki family from River Blossom Hills, which is the world that came with the Sims 2 seasons. And yeah, I think I, I, I really liked how that house turned out. It, uh, I mean, the original is kind of weird uh, a lot of sims 2 builds were very strange um so yeah i think i've hopefully i've turned it into something that is a little bit more um realistic uh i guess uh it kind of it kind of reminds me of like a like an older style of colonial house from like the east coast um so yeah you'll have to let me know what you think and i've been building all of those in brindleton bay uh, so i think that house actually fits in really well in that neighborhood uh with that sort of style. So yeah, you'll have to be, keep an eye out for that one. And yeah, here in the build, I ended up using, uh, I think the desk is from base game. And then I used a couple of things from the industrial loft kit. Uh, and amazingly, all these wood tones tied together really well. I was <laughs> really surprised, uh, especially since the ones from Dream Home Decorator are, uh, I don't know, they're, they're a bit different than a lot of the other, uh, like wood tones in the game so it's always you know kind of a, a challenge to find things that match well with them uh but yeah i guess the uh industrial loft kit uh, matches pretty well so you know little tip for you if you're trying to figure out things to to go together there uh, maybe the same teams worked on them hmm, i'm not sure and now i'm just working on the exterior of the build uh, i don't do a ton of landscaping i guess um i mean it's you know fairly landscaped but since you know i was imagining this as being a rental property that someone owned and they didn't actually live in the property um you know that they would probably keep it fairly simple um but yeah just putting a couple extra things on this uh front uh deck since there uh, was quite a bit of space just a couple of planters and a place to sit and i didn't do a full uh you know porch on the uh, kind of modern side. I didn't think it would really fit in super well. Uh, so yeah, nothing really on that one. Um, I did use the wall mailbox from uh, Snowy Escape, uh, which is really nice. Obviously you'll have to 
change that if you turn this into an actual rental property. Uh, but yeah, I really like those wall mailboxes. I really wish they would add at least one to the base game. I think that would be really nice. Um, or if there was some way to make it so like the doors that have mail slots were animated. So like if a mail person came to, you know, deliver your mail and you have a door like that, it would just like, there'd just be like a pile of mail on your floor um, in front of it. I think that would be really cool. That'd be a really neat little touch they could add to the game. And yeah, I didn't end up doing anything in the back here. Uh, you know, I thought at one point of doing maybe some sort of patio or like a grilling area. Uh, but since the original house didn't have anything like that, and, you know, with it being a rental, I didn't think it was super necessary. Um, but yeah, obviously there's still plenty of space back there if you wanted to add something, uh, maybe a swing set or something like that. If you have, um, if you move a child sim in as well, since one of the rooms is, you know, decorated for a child. So that would make sense. And overall, I'm having better luck with the terrain paint, you know, knock on wood, but <laughs> it seems like it really only disappears when I like leave the lot with a sim rather than just entering, you know, directly into build mode from the world. It seems like that is kind of the issue. Um, but yeah, it'd be really great if they would also fix that bug, you know, among the other 7 million that need to be addressed. But <laughs> yeah, hopefully, you know, if you download this, all the terrain paint is still there. Uh, yeah, let's let's hope 2024 is the year of bug fixes because I'm 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 tired. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> and now I am just going around and doing the lighting for the lot. Uh nothing, you know, too over the top. I've been really struggling with how dim table lamps are, so I pretty much am just doing ceiling lights as well. Um so that'll also give you some flexibility if you prefer to just not use the ceiling lights and it's, you know, a little bit um, a little bit moodier for you. Uh, so yeah, kind of doing that. That way it's also well lit, but also you have the option. But that is pretty much gonna do it for me today. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know there's a million things you could be doing today, so it means a lot. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. That helps a lot. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you so much. Have a great day.